Let's talk a bit more about scanning with the i1 Pro 2. There are a lot of different ways people can orient their targets and their scanning with the i1 Pro 2. It's common to scan with the text across the top and scan the top row first, moving down through each of the rows. Looking at the preview, you see that we have this black patch on the right here and a bunch of strong colors on the left side of the second row. You can scan in either direction and the software will automatically figure out where the patches should be filled in. As long as I'm scanning my target the same way as the preview here shows, I'm going to be in great shape. I can also scan from the bottom up. If you particularly do not want to have contact with the patches that you have not even read yet, then this is a good way to go. Nothing is touching the rows of your target until you're actually scanning that row. Notice that I clicked the long arrow on the right in order to indicate the different direction of the scanning. I'm scanning bottom to top. Here's another idea. I can flip the chart upside down and read the chart the same way from the other direction, only covering the rows that have not been read yet. Notice I need to rotate the preview as well so that my preview is matching what I am measuring with my i1 Pro 2. Sometimes they do it this way in Europe. Let's try it one more time. What happens if I leave the measurement preview window at its default setting, but I measure the target top row first upside down like last time? This time the row ends up measuring backwards. This black patch is on the left and the colors are on the right. Oh, that's going to mess up my measurement in a big way. Here I end up in curve and my curves are really doing some strange things because of the backward measurement. Just remember to set your preview options so the preview looks the same as the target that you're measuring, the same direction that you're measuring. And you should be fine.